Are you tired of looking for a new home and finding few listings that meet your needs? Have you lost out on getting a home you loved because the competition for homes is just so fierce? Are you considering buying a new construction home, but you're not really sure if new construction is for you? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, stay tuned. In this video, I'm gonna give you five essential questions that will help you determine if new construction is the right choice for you. Stick around to the end of the video and find out the number one regret buyers have about buying or building new construction home. My name is Jay Trout Lowen. You can call me Trout. I'm a realtor and an expert at helping buyers and sellers successfully navigate the fast-paced Twin Cities housing market. Now let's dive into those questions. The first question you'll need to answer when you're considering new construction is, where do I want to live? because you can change almost anything about a house except where it's located. Once it's built, it's built. And while there is some infill building going on in the core Twin Cities, most of the new construction is taking place in the third ring suburbs. All of those developments are 40 minutes or more from the core cities. So if you're going to be commuting to work in either Minneapolis or St. Paul, that's really something that you need to think about. Question number two. What kind of lifestyle are you looking for? Do you want to live on a quiet cul-de-sac and have a large yard? Or do you want to be able to walk to shops and restaurants? Again, this is kind of the second part of the location question, since most new building is happening in the suburbs. If you're looking for walkability, new construction might not be for you. Question number three, how soon do you want to move? When you buy an existing home, you can generally plan on moving within 30 to 60 days. But if you decide to build a new home, you may have to wait six months to a year or even more before you can move into your new home. Especially since COVID, builders are struggling with supply chain and labor shortages that are pushing their build timelines way out. Question number four. How do you feel about homeowners associations, also referred to as HOAs? Many new construction homes are being built in planned communities that are governed by HOAs. These associations often charge monthly or annually fees for maintaining the community assets, and they also establish rules for the community, such as what colors you might paint your house or what type of plantings you can have in your yard. Some people really like the predictability and uniformity of HOAs, and others feel constricted by it. It really just depends on what type of person you are. Question number five, how involved do you wanna be in the build and design process of your new home? The answer to this question is more about what type of new home you might wanna purchase, but it's also about how many decisions you're comfortable making. If you're buying an already built model home, you'll be purchasing a new home, but in an as is situation, much like buying an existing home. If you decide on a custom built home, you'll be making decisions on almost everything from countertops to paint colors to light switches. It can be a lot of pressure if you don't feel confident about your design skills. If you're not really sure about this last question, check out my next video in this series where I talk about the three main types of home builders and what you can expect from each when buying a home. And now for my insider tip. What is the number one regret new construction buyers have? Not researching the community before buying their new home. This emphasizes my first point, which is where you live is just as important as the house that you live in. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I'd love to hear your suggestions and I'd love to answer any questions you have. Please put your comments below. My name is Jay Trout Lowen and I'm here to help.